Hello, preschool kids and families. It's Mr. Brian. Thanks for joining us. We love teaching you about who God is and what God has done from the Bible. That's why we're making these videos. Every week, we're going to be practicing our monthly memory verse, hear a story from the Bible, and worship God by singing together. This week, Mr. Chris is going to be teaching us about when Jesus was baptized. But first, let's practice our monthly memory verse together to remember what's good, true, and beautiful about God. Our God is in the heavens. He does all that He pleases. Our God is in the heavens. He does all that He pleases. Our God is in the heavens. He does all that He pleases. Our God is in the heavens. He does all that He pleases. Hi friends, welcome back. It's so good to see you. Are you ready to hear our lesson today? Great, now let's see. Can anyone tell me where they think our story can be found? It's a book. We talk about it every week. It never changes. It might be in my hand. If you said the Bible, you're right. Our story today comes from the Bible and the Bible is God's true word. The Bible is from God and about God and it's true. We have talked about Jesus and how he left heaven to be born a baby. And we have talked about how Jesus did not stay a baby. He grew up. Last week, we learned about Jesus as a little boy and when he was staying in the temple to talk about God. After that, Jesus continued to grow up and become a man. The whole time Jesus was on earth, he never sinned. Never is a long time. So did Jesus ever sin? I think I heard you say no, but I'm not sure I heard all of you. This time, let's do it together. Did Jesus ever sin? On the count of three, let's all say no. One, two, three, no! I think I heard you guys that time. Today, we're going to talk about Jesus and a man named John the Baptist. John loved God very much. John was telling people about God at a place called the Jordan River. Now, have any of you guys ever seen a river before or know what a river is made out of? Rivers are large streams of water that go across and through the land. Well, lots of people came to see and hear John the Baptist. John knew that everyone had hearts sick with sin. He wanted people to tell the truth about their sin. He wanted them to know that they needed a rescuer to save them from their sin. They couldn't save themselves. Now, who's the rescuer? Who was John talking about? Jesus, yes, Jesus. Now, John knew that the rescuer was coming soon. So one day, the Bible tells us that Jesus went down to the Jordan River where John was, and he asked John to baptize him in the river. On the count of three, let's all say baptize. One, two, three, baptize. Now to baptize someone means to dip them all the way under the water and bring them back up to show everyone that God has given them a new, clean, and healthy heart. Even though Jesus already had a healthy heart, he asked John to baptize him anyway, so John did. John dipped Jesus under the water, then brought him back up. Can you go down with me and then back up? Ready, here we go. Down and up. As soon as Jesus came up out of the water though, something amazing happened. 
the heavens opened up and the Spirit of God came down from heaven in the shape of a dove. Now let's see what the Bible says happened next. I'm gonna read from the book of Matthew, chapter three, verse 17, and it says, and behold, a voice from heaven said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And guess what? Everyone who was there heard this voice. And you know who that verse wo voice was? It was God. It was God telling them that Jesus was God's son. It was a very special moment. Now when God spoke from heaven after Jesus was baptized, the people began to understand that the rescuer who God had promised was here the people began to understand that the rescuer was Jesus. Jesus had come to rescue his people from sin. Jesus came to save sinners. Now let's all say that together. Let's start by whispering it, all right? Jesus came to save sinners on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus came to save sinners. Now on the count of three, in your most excited voice, let's say Jesus came to save sinners. One, two, Three, Jesus came to save sinners. Now this time, we're gonna get out our pretend microphones and yell so everyone can hear. But let's make sure you're in a place where that's okay to do, okay? Let's make sure no one's napping. On the count of three, one, two, three. Jesus came to save sinners. Now, before we sing and worship God together, let's pray and thank God that Jesus came to save sinners. Dear God, we thank you so much for this story. God, you are good. You sent a rescuer just like you promised you would. You promised Adam and Eve in the beginning of the Bible, God, that you would send a rescuer to save us from our sins. And God, you kept that promise. You always keep your promises. God, you sent that rescuer and that rescuer is Jesus. So God, we thank you that Jesus came to save sinners. Would you help us to love and trust in you? It's in your name we pray, amen.
just came to say We all need a savior Jesus is the way You and me Jesus came to say We all need a savior Jesus is the way You are the way Jesus is the way You and me Jesus came to save We all need a savior Jesus is the way Thanks for joining us. For more information and additional resources for both kids and parents, check out our TVC Kids site located on the homepage of thevillagechurch.net.